heavy traffic all because of light beer. It was loud. Heard a big bang and uh, came up and saw all this. It's not the worst one I've seen. People who saw it say a propane truck ran the Bud Light semi right off the road. Yeah, it looks like folded, like the front half, like jackknife pretty much. What a mess. It's a job. Cape Coral police shut down the northbound lane on Santa Barbara Boulevard for hours, diesel leaking into the street. The biggest concern at the time was the environmental aspect of it. Fortunately, it looked like nobody was hurt. The drivers walked away without a scratch. They were lucky that was oak tree was right there. So the next big question. I kind of laughed because it's a Bud Light truck, you know. Dozens of nosy neighbors were wondering. I was kind of hoping that they would start handing a little out, but you know. What are they going to do with all that beer? I usually drink Bud or Bud Light. Well, of course, the homeowners think they might have earned the right to what's inside the truck. I've got a lot of beer drinking neighbors here. So. Jerry Bramlett wasn't home when the Bud Light truck came crashing through, but his wife was. Yes, what do you want? Lady, don't you know that you're, there's a truck in your backyard? And somehow they weren't surprised, saying it's happened before. They just come over the bridge too fast. This time it took three tow trucks in almost five hours to get the rig out. Well, I'm just curious on how they're going to get this out of the ditch or out of the bank now. And to everybody's disappointment. Now my neighbors tried to get me to go up there and tell them just to unload the bear in the yard here and we'll take care of it. Cold blood beverages were never served. I think it'd be very neighborly. 